So I grew up with my dad and my stepmom, a part of a really strict religion. Um, my stepmom pushed it on me pretty hard, and I wasn't really understanding what God was, or I just knew you had to go to church every day, or every Sunday, and if you didn't go, then or you would go to hell. So, um, so I was scared. I grew up being afraid of God, thinking he was an angry or, or spiteful or um, overbearing kind of person. I wasn't religious. I never grabbed a hold of God or what it meant, um, what Jesus did or any of that. Um, so at a young age, I kind of writ, writ religion off and decided that I didn't believe in God and didn't believe in any the Bible or anything. And I just kind of went off on my own path. And uh, I just always chalked it up to say, you know, I'm a good person. So if there is a God, then, you know, I'll be fine or Whatever, I don't go murder people or anything like that. And one day at um, my son's preschool, I met Melanie, and um, we got to talking about religious things and everything, and it kind of just cracked wide open, like the first time that we had hung out. We just dove right in, and Melanie was really awesome and just was like, hey, you should come you know, to our church and check it out. I think that you would really like it. And so I said, all right, well... <laughs> I guess, you know, and I didn't really expect anything to come of it um, until I got to church. And I had had a really rough day um, with my kids, and my husband travels for work a lot, and I was just feeling really bummed out. And I went to church, and I just had this overwhelming feeling of awesome. I don't know. I think that being baptized is my way of saying, like, I am a follower of Christ, and I I am forever grateful for everything that um, Jesus has done for us, and I just want to show, it's my way of showing my family and, and the world that, you know, I love God, and I'm, I'm really excited. So. Okay, so honestly, when I've, I've accepted God and everything, you know, obviously a while ago, um, but this... Sunday or last Sunday when I was at church and we were talking about you know Christ being born and and that whole story and obviously I've known that story I mean everyone knows that story but I don't think it ever really sunk in what he was doing to come and be born you know in a barn and and just to sacrifice all of that glory to save us and to save someone who has turned him away for my whole life and um, said, no, this isn't real to, I don't know, just really grasp and understand that no matter what you have done in your life or, or who you have hurt or turned away, but that, that God will always accept you and love you if you can love him back and, and yeah. So...